Hello from ITU Telecom World 2011 being held here in Geneva in Switzerland where I'm talking with Joel Kapana who is the Minister of Information Technology and Communication in Namibia. Minister, what do you think are the main challenges facing your country in terms of ICT sector at the moment? Um, the principal challenges uh, facing ICT in my country First, we have a, a vast country. You know, it's very difficult to provide services in such a vast country. Secondly, we have a lower rate of ICT literacy in our country. And, and thirdly, uh, ICT equipment are not readily available. And thirdly, ICT equipment are also expensive. What are your expectations at an event like ITU Telecom World? What will you take back home with you that you've learned here or found out since you arrived? Well, when attending event, events like this, our expectation is to promote our country, to introduce Namibia to the international community. At the same time, is to networking with a view to learn, you know, from our peers the best practices. Then, of course we can take home. We don't need to reinvent the wheel, but of course, you know, which is cheap and efficient is by learning from those who have been in the field for a, a long time. You know, our ministry is a very new ministry. It was established in 2008. I started with the the finalization of the Communi Communication Act that will, you know, be the basis on which the minister will be anchored. We need to finalize policies in order to create a conducive regulatory environment. And of course, to be able to do that, we have to, you know, to create our Communication Regulatory Authority of Namibia, CRAN, that you will regulate the industry. So that was the challenge we started with. And of course, to be able to, you know, to build a credible you know, regulator, we need to, uh, to learn you know, from other countries, the best experience and, 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 and practices, so that we'll be able to put in place or to build a credible and efficient regulator. Can you tell us how you think ICT can help, not just economic development in Namibia, but also social development within the country? Well, uh, ICT can, you know, drive both social and economic, you know, develop in our country. Uh, we have, you know, in our policy um, endeavors, declare ICT as one of those major driver of our economic, you know, growth, you know, to create employment opportunity and to address poverty. Uh, in the social sector, we feel that we need to ensure that uh, we, we create, you know, uh, a knowledge-based society. And, and, and through this endeavor, we need to, uh, to prioritize, you know, the the allocation of 
ICT equipment in, in our schools. We need to embark on a, a massive ICT training at all levels as to equip you know, our people with you know, ICT skills. Uh, I'm working closely with my colleague, the Minister of Education, um, to ensure that um, we provide ICT equipment in our schools. And we will start at the elementary school schools. We want to introduce a system that we have seen in India and other countries. The, the, the system they call, you know, a hole in the wall. This is the computer equipment that's mounted in the hall at the public places that enable, enables, you know, enable young children, non-school going children, toddlers, to play around this, with this equipment until you know, they discover the magic of this equipment, you know, to train them and, and, and in order to get used to work with such equipment. And when they go to preschool and, 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 and elementary school, they get the basic knowledge about computers. Uh, we need also to train teachers to be able to utilize computers in schools, both for training students and for, and for research. Um, Namibia has acquired a submariner cable that landed early February this year. And we will extend broadband connectivity, free connectivity to schools and hospitals. So this will enable to train our people in the, you know, in the IT sector to equip them with skills that are necessary, both for learning and also for you know, other utilization in the economic areas. Namibia is collaborating with India by you know, setting up uh, uh, an e-learning center. The e-learning center that will provide distance education is connected to the Indian universities and universities, I mean, and, and um, you know, lectures will be offered from those selected reputable university from India. And this is an interactive, you know, uh, a session that will be conducted at, the house, the house, at this particular center. In the same vein, we have also uh, an e-health center where Namibian doctors and health personnel will be able to, uh, to get assistance from India right on site when addressing you know, uh, diagnostic uh, problems and all these type of things. So we really take you know, ICT seriously. It's a tool for both social and economic development. We are using ICT in, in agriculture, you know, uh, you know, to equip our, our you know, um, uh, our agriculturalists to be able to utilize, you know, ICT either, either in a way of uh, um, knowing the right time of plowing, condition of the, the weather, the right, you know, um, fertilizer and seeds and so on. Um, uh, in the same way, we want to utilize ICT, you know, on the side of e-trade as well, e-commerce. So ICT to us is going to be an enabler to all these endeavors that we want to achieve a tool that we want to utilize to give us efficiency and higher yields in whatever we want to embark on. Will you name one thing that you think needs to be done if we're going to ever get any closer to 
achieving the completion of the mission of basically giving more global citizens more meaningful access to connected technology? Well, I think to achieve that, what I think is critical is to, to make you know, ICT accessible and affordable. Technology must be there. And it should be affordable by the citizen of the world. Secondly, is to capacitate, is to equip the citizen with skills in order to be able to utilize you know, ICT. This is very critical. People must be able to utilize, you know, ICT in order to improve their condition of living, to, I mean, to do business, and to improve efficiency in the administration, and whatever they do, you know, in order to improve the standard of living by using the right tool that can give them, you know, high productivity, efficiency, and, and growth. Joel Kapana, thanks very much indeed.